Yeah, so, anyways, um, that was my neighbor at my door. They're moving out, and they were asking me if I wanted some potting soil. So I said, yeah. But the timing was impeccable. Because now I'm going to have to do some editing. But if you're seeing this, you know it went all right. But anyways, <laughs> Hoya Lacunosa in this little dog pot. And I was about to bust off with some flowers right now. Probably in the next day or two. I think it has another peduncle. peduncle. Yeah, right here. I already had flowers a second ago. My Crimson Queen back here. And uh, once they're adding Sonia, <coughs> excuse me. I just been growing up, the, up this plank. I just chopped it a little bit ago and it's already grown back, so that's awesome. I'm expecting a small leaf and then big again, but it's only got so much room, so we'll see how that goes. Um, Staghorn fern mounted up over here. I think he, he needs some water. Uh, my silt pecana growing up over top of the pole. Uh, this is my 10 gallon tank. You can see my laundry basket in the background, my bed. 10 gallon tank. With some neon pothos growing out the back. And climbing up this pool and getting quite large. Um, this is, I think, another um, Monstera subpanatum that my uh, local fish store gave it to me because they couldn't get it to grow with some um, Mikan's cuttings. Um, and that's my Mikan's back here. Kind of hard to see all of it, but you get the idea. This, um, this is a Scandapsis exotica. Monstera dubia, dubia, dubia. Shingling up this piece of plastic here. And then a Hoya carii. And purple oxalis. Over here. Then we got my ficus ruby, question mark, I think it's ruby, yeah. And it's Gandapsis truby on moonlight. Which I just took cuttings of too. Um, Ludicia this color. Uh, Oncidium wildcat orchid up here. And some cuttings. Cannot remember what this one is. Mike ends. Um, back here is the Raphidophora decursiva. If I'm give me a split, the leaf doesn't look too great. But yeah, and I put some cuttings back in because I just took cuttings. So, yeah. Epipremnum amplissimum. strappy leaves looking nice and my skin picked is pictus argyreus going wild up the pole there's my whole shelf over here my little ring 
of orchids. Which is doing pretty good. I don't know why this guy's always been so floppy, but it is what it is. Grown new leaves. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Uh, filled under and Birkin. This is my alocasia macro rhizo. And a uh, filled under and jungle boogie. Or I think it's a jungle. It's a uh, philodendron stenolobum. Very much thrips. Attacked. But looking pretty nice, regardless. A little 15 gallon tank with the tiger barbs. They're somewhere in there, in the back. And then my little shelf over here. Which doesn't have as many plants on it as before. And it's kind of messy. But Syngonium Strawberry Shake. Also thrippy. My 20 gallon. You won't be able to see it. Barely. Probably. Yeah. 20 gallon. This guy is Stromanthi Sanguinea Magic Star. I haven't been like saying my plants names out loud too often. So it's not helpful for me remembering them. Alocasia Pink Dragon that looks like shit. Yeah, it has thrips or something. Yeah, it thrips when I was like putting its leaf out. And this is my terrarium. Has some strawberries in there for the roaches. Let's take a peek in there. There's a lot of plants in there. I don't know if I'm really feeling like listing them all off right now. But you can just take a peek. I can make a separate video for my terrariums because they're kind of wild. Alright. Uh, Peperomia obtusifolia variegata which thrips love to eat. Gotta love it. My Adenium uh, Desert Rose or some or other has one tiny leaf. It never wants to keep these. Um, lemon Lime Philodendron. The upright, the mother plant of that little baby I showed you. Got another tiny little Cebu Blue. Geo Persia Rufa Barba that looks like ass. Um, my Green Queen Pothos or whatever Pothos this is. I don't think it's a golden, I think it's just a Pothos. Yeah. It's taken over the shelf. Well, um, peace lily. I think I forgot a shelf. I forgot, I forgot like a whole, like two shelves on one of my shelves over there. So I'm gonna go back after showing you this. Tenanthi. Uh, let me look at the tag. Compact star. My giant fucking anthurium, which I'm not entirely sure what kind of anthurium it is. 
but it's giant. And that's where the little seedlings came from. But I'm not sure if it was a cross between another Anthurium and this one, or just this one. Yeah. Big. And Geopersia and Cygnus. A featuring fungus now flying by. There's a Tenanthi Bromarxii. Thank God for my plant labels. And Marantha Lucanura Kerchoviana variegated. Which also kind of looks like shit right now. But <laughs> that's just how it goes sometimes, you know? Pathos uh, over here. With tons of roots going. And this is the 40 gallon terrarium, which is really hard to see inside. But we can take a peek from the top. And again, I'm just gonna make a separate video for this. some praying mantises in here there's still some in here i try to put most of them outside there's one yeah boya begonias there's avocado growing right here um, something i'm super excited about Sorry about that. Is my uh, oh look at those spider mites up there. But the orchid I got in here has grown a kiki. The main plant is back here, which is hard to see. But it's grown a kiki up here, and it is grown flower spike. Looks like. I'll have to take care of the spider mites. Probably just spray them with a little water and call it good. Yeah. That's what I'm going to show you there. And let's work our way back to what I've forgotten on this shelf. So I got my mother plant silver squill that is looking. Kind of sad, but it's okay. It's been worse things. This lipstick plant, black pagoda. Why are you not focusing? And probably just because the leaf looks so like, yeah, okay, yeah. But it's producing a flower, it has already flowered for me once and the flowers are super weird looking this is what it originally came with and it grew all this for me a nice looking part my patio petalum jacob's knight and it has a fruit on it because I, I done pollinated that flower so it's got a fuzzy little fruit which is sick and then we got a coffee plant back there. Mm. And then my mango tree that I also grew from a seed. Which I'm super stoked about. Um, bam Bambino alocasia. That's doing pretty good. It always has some sort of pest. But I think it might be pest free right now. My black velvet alocasia is back here too. Quite difficult to see. Let's pull her out. Looking magnificent. Beautiful. Um, 
African Violet that is coming back from not being happy. String of Arrows that really just looks like String of Hearts. It originally had some arrows, but it just looks like String of Hearts. Got a little mounted orchid that generally looks pretty thirsty, but it's growing roots. I need to water this today because I forgot. Well, angel wing begonia. Here, that is poorly backlit. Uh, well, um, Mazdavalia Pinocchio, which I had by the grow light, which I <laughs> sunburnt it, so it's my bad. Free to call a mug. And back here is my domino piece lily, which is flowering again. It's pretty exciting. Uh, um, Alba Monstera that I'm going to pull out so you can look at it a better. Uh, yeah, that was the first leaf. And I got it as just a cutting. And it's grown. This is the first leaf it gave me, which was kind of sad, but it's okay. The back looks pretty nice. And this is the next leaf, so it's starting to look quite nice again. In the back, it's mostly green. But yeah, pretty excited about that. I got that from my, one of my friends. So it has sentimental value as well. Put it back. Mm, Maharani. Let me just put out this. Yeah. Sorry if that was like terrible for you. But I just put out this new leaf that's not quite hardened off yet. And it's been a long time since it's put out a leaf. Uh, Philodendron Florida Beauty. No. Florida Green. No, Florida. Yeah, Florida Green, not Beauty. Be green, Green. Um, yeah. Excuse me, quite large. All this talking makes my voice like, go away. Putting out a new leaf. I really like this plant. And here's my pink princess. If we can see it. Pink princess. This leaf looks awesome. And this is a baby. A cutting that I put in that I took off the top. Uh, yeah. Finally pretty happy with the pink, my pink princess right now. It just needed to be chopped. And I think that might be all my plants. I guess I can just show you this whole shelf. I have uh, some plants outside too. But I'm not going to go over that right now. Anyways, thank you for watching again. If you watched all the way through, I appreciate it. I'll have more videos and they will all be in a new apartment. So everything will be set up differently. Oh, and also, we cannot forget. I have to introduce this special little child that walked into Lily and I's life and chose to live with us. Her name's Chili and she's our new kitty. And her and Beans are getting along now. They've, they've had their little duels and Beans got fixed, so we're all good now. And she's super sweet and yeah, so Beans and Chili are the new mascots. I'm gonna go over and show you Beans right after this too. This is all just not plant related, but 
I feel like just as important, you know? And here's the beans. Oh, sorry, but. Alright, thank you. Hope y'all have a good day. Peace.